Greetings, fellow home mechanics. So in this episode, what we are going to do is test a liquid head gasket sealer. And this goes along with a previous video that you may wanna watch where we have a car where we have 100% confirmation of a head gasket failure. And um, of course I explained in that video by head gasket failure, this can be also a cracked block, it could be a cracked cylinder head, it could actually be a failure of the head gasket. But we have confirmed by compression and leak down test and a chemistry test in that video that the car has a fairly mild blown head gasket. There is no steam blowing out of the exhaust. It makes this car, according to the instructions on the can, a very good candidate for this repair. And what I'm going with today is Bars Leaks Head Gasket Fix. There's lots and lots of these on the market, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna test this product scientifically, and at least as scientifically as possible, by drawing some baseline leak down, chemistry, and compression tests from the engine before adding the block fix, and then we will follow the instructions on the block fix, and then retest to see if there is a change in those numbers so we can get a quantitative analysis of the performance of this product. Now, one of the things is that there are many, many products like this on the market, and the reason I chose this one is a couple fold. First of all, it's because it was uh, moderately priced. I think this was about $24 or something like that. They ranged in price, these products, from as little as $7 all the way up to over $60. And they use different chemistries. This one, I believe, uses copper. There's others that use silica, and there's others that use nanotechnology. Ooh. Um, but the reason that I went with this one for the second reason is that I did some research and I looked online at consumer recommendations for all of those products, and this one had the highest proportion of positive results. It actually did have the most reviews of all the other products, but it also had the highest proportion of positive reviews. We obviously can't test more than one product and compare them side by side. We would need identical engines with identical compromises in the combustion chamber, the same exact crack in the same exact location to give a fair test of each product. So we, we just can't do that. So what we're gonna do is do some quick initial tests on the car, which I actually already did in the previous video video. So I will just show you what those tests were to save time for the video. And if you want to actually see the testing procedure, you can watch the previous methods to test a head gasket video. But uh, let's go over the numbers that we got from that previous video. All right, and we will actually do a repeat of these tests uh, at the end of this video after I do the block fix. But for our initial things on the compression test, we got approximately 150 on cylinder number one. We got approximately 135 on cylinder number two. Uh, cylinder number three, I believe, was around 120. And cylinder number four was, actually, it wasn't shown in that video, but it was also at 150. Um, these uh, are our cylinders where also on a leak down test, we found that there was, um, let's see, we had low here, and this wasn't shown in the video, we had a low leak down here, and on this guy here, we had a moderate, and on this one, we had more of a moderate uh, to heavy. All right, so that's our baselines, and what we're gonna do is go ahead and add this product, and then we, we actually will do the testing real time uh, after I let the product cure, and we'll see if we get a change in our compression test numbers and our leak down numbers, which would give quantitative indication that the product actually does work, aside from some observational things, like does the car idle better, things like that. We also did a chemistry test, which we'll also show at the end of this video, or you can see the other one, and the chemistry test was positive. We did detect combustion gas in the coolant. So of course we wanna see that test be negative as an indication that this product works. So let's go ahead and add the product. The first thing that is actually not mentioned in the instructions but obviously should be is to drain enough of this radiator fluid so that we will be able to add the bottle without overflowing the radiator. So I'm gonna do that right now. You just pour this right into the radiator and then you also We'll uh, top off the radiator and the overflow tank with the coolant. Start the engine with the heater on hot, fan on high, idle it for 15 minutes, let it cool overnight, and um, then top off and leave the stuff in the system for future protection. And uh, hmm, that's it. Seems too easy to me, but let's go ahead and do what it says.
All right, I am not gonna lie. I really do not expect this to work. And even if it does, I expect it to be extremely, extremely temporary at best. But um, we're gonna be neutral about this and we are gonna let the data speak for itself and only the quantitative data. So let's go ahead and see what happens. And it looks disgusting. Yeah, the stuff looks kind of like melted milkshake, actually, uh, with a whole bunch of metal particles floating around in it. But obviously, it's just a bunch of chopped up copper is what it is. Uh, let's see. We're getting almost, uh, almost full and almost out of the bottle here. So uh, let's go ahead and um, start up the engine and uh, let it idle for at least 15 minutes. All right, we're about 10 minutes into this thing. Um, I've added all of the block seal and uh, so far not noticing anything really different. Uh, does seem like the hoses are hot. I've got a scan tool connected to look at my temperature. I know the thermostat's open. So we'll, uh, we've got another five or six minutes left uh, before the 15 minute runtime is up. We'll see what happens. All right, we're at the end of our 15 minute run. Uh, without question, both heater hoses are warm here. So I know that the thermostat's open. I know that the product cycled through. Um, I will have to admit, it sounds to me a little bit like the idle is better. Um, I, I'm not totally sure about that. Maybe it's because it's just warming up a lot. Uh, we haven't run it for 15 minutes before. But the idle definitely doesn't sound as rough. So uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn off the car. We'll let it cool overnight. And then tomorrow morning, we'll go ahead and we'll do our tests to see if this worked. Good morning. All right, we have let the engine cool down completely. And what we're gonna do now is go ahead and start it up. And we're just gonna go right through the throat with the chemistry test. And again, this test tests for carbon dioxide, which is a combustion gas. If there is combustion gas in the cooling system, then I know that this product did not fix the head gasket leak. So let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, right off the bat, I'm not too impressed with the way the engine sounds right now, but let's go ahead. And of course, if our little tester here turns yellow, and it did it in three pumps last time, and it's already starting to turn a little bit yellowish, and this is going to be a positive test for a blown head gasket right here. So this product did not work, and that is a bummer. That is a real bummer, but I was kind of expecting as much. Yep. That is definitely yellow. So, well, that sucks. All right, well, that's not surprising, but uh, what we're gonna do now is let's just go ahead and see if this product even did anything. And uh, we'll do the compression test and see if we have any improvement, at least in our numbers for the compression test. So let's go ahead and get these spark plugs out of here. And, uh, well, you don't have to label up spark plug wires when you only have to remember four cylinders. Ha! All right, and I'm not sure what we're going to do with this car. I'll have to contact the owner and let him know that we've got an issue with his head gasket still. He was uh, actually the one that had the idea for this product. But maybe we'll be doing a video on head gasket replacement pretty soon. We're going to start with cylinder number one, and uh, that one actually was not affected by the head gasket failure, so that one should show the same as last time, and that is going to be just, just under 150, right about 150. So let's start and see what happens. All right, we see that did not change at all, which would be expected. Let's go over to number two, which last time read about 135. So let's see if there's any improvement at all. Well, there definitely was. Amazing. Uh, that reads 140. So, um, hmm, that's pretty interesting. But let's go over to number three, which of course had the lowest compression of all of them. And maybe there was just too much of a breach for that to be fixed. All right, last time this read 120. So let's see if there was any improvement in this number. Ah, kind of blew coolant up at myself a little bit there. Forgot to put the radiator cap on, but we can see we're at about 
20. It, it didn't do anything at all with cylinder number three, so that is bad news. Um, and cylinder number four we don't have to do because we know the compression was good in that cylinder. Um, that's a bummer. And there actually is no reason to do the leak down test at this point, but I'm going to do it anyway just simply because my compressor is already uh, primed up. So we'll go ahead, we'll do leak down on number one. We know that that's going to show in the low range. All right, and this test, of course, just feeds compressed air into the cylinder. It's reading high right now because the cylinder is open. Uh, it sounds like uh, through the exhaust valve right now, so I'll need to rotate the engine over to close the valves. All right, there we are. We're closing the intake valve now, so that'll make compressed air. And then we can see where the compressed air escapes the cylinder. And not much air is gonna escape this cylinder, so it's reading in the low, and that's what we expect. So let's go ahead and see if number two will hold on a leak down test. And last time, the gauge read in the lower end of the moderate scale. So let's uh, rotate this engine over and let's see where this holds at. You can hear the coolant bubbling out, so it's not holding very well at all. Uh, even though there is some improvement, it looks like, on the leak down, it's not enough to seal the gasket. You can definitely hear, I'm sure, the air escaping through the coolant. All right, here we are at number three, and this one last time read closer to the high. And let's go ahead and do this, and of course coolant's going to bubble out again, I'm sure. All right. All right, we can see that we're, we're pretty much about where we were before. Might be a little better. Um, can't really explain that since the compression test was... Well, the compression test was maybe just a little better, I suppose. But you can hear that. That's the air boiling up through the coolant. So uh, this didn't work so well. Ah, well, it was uh, certainly worth a try, and uh, actually it was kind of fun, I guess, for, uh, for the most part. Well, not very fun for my customer, though. So uh, we'll call it quits on this video. Unfortunately, that product didn't work in this application. I want to point out uh, that, you know, maybe, maybe had there been less of a head gasket leak, maybe the product would have worked and maybe there was just too much of a breach in number three for the product to really work. But then again, uh, it, it didn't really hold on cylinder number two, despite the fact that it, it did improve the compression. So it, it did something. The product did something, but it wasn't enough to fix this car. And I certainly can't imagine the repair would have been permanent either. But again, that's just with this product on this particular vehicle with its particular situation. So it doesn't mean that you shouldn't try it yourself. So uh, like I said, the product did get very, very, very good reviews. But then again, that might have been on things that were misdiagnosed as a head gasket problem for all I know or something. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful.